Two different setups. Hydrogen peroxide in each measuring cylinder. There is a subtle difference between them. I haven't told you what the difference is yet. Let's go with the blue one first. <coughs> this stuff is called potassium iodide. We've used it in solution in that very first experiment we did, the first lesson. It's part of the one which went bright yellow. If we stick this potassium iodide into here, we'll keep an eye on it. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's always everybody's favourite bit. Very exciting, yes? Very exciting. Right, let's do the same thing again. Let's take this hydrogen peroxide, which has got a subtle difference. I haven't told you what the difference is yet. We put red food colouring in it for no other reason other than to make it look nice and make it look a bit different. So potassium iodide again, and we'll bung it in. That one's gone a bit quicker. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit more spectacular, yes? Have a look at what's going on, make some observations. I'll ask you about what might be happening in the reaction in a minute or two. It's quite amazing how much is coming out just from that small volume that we had. Look at this one. It's going like a slug. And look at this one. And it's going like a... Yeah, yeah, slug and a snail. Yeah.